kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video, I am going to show you how and uh, teach you how you can use the Firebase authentication using mobile phone. All right. So the user will be able to uh, to sign in and sign up using his mobile phone number, and an OTP will be sent to his mobile number, and he can enter the code which is he has received inside the SMS. And yes. All right. So let's get started. So first of all. I want to show you the demo of how it will work. So here I have this app, and there you can see I have the uh, splash screen first of all, and then uh, we have to input our our mobile number. So here I will input my number, and there I will say five zero eight nine six two six. All right. So that's my phone number, and I will click on next, and there you can see enter code. All right, so now an SMS will be sent to my number, and uh, for the latest Firebase authentication, it is required that you have uh, this Snappy. Uh, you have to use the Snappy, so it will be like this. And here I can input my uh, the code. So here I already have the Firebase. Uh, let me show you uh, here. All right, so there for the testing purpose i already have some mobile numbers here and there i have at the testing code 654321 suppose i write some other here and i click on the login and there you can see incorrect verification code so if after i enter 654321 and i click on login and there you can see verification done and the main activity is now open so if i go back and i if, if i open it again so i don't have to input or the or sign in using my phone number it is already logged in all right so that was the demo so let's get started so first of all we will uh, create an empty activity or i think i should be telling you the source code only so there you can see uh, suppose i have the splash activity here you can see and i am running the main activity so this is the main activity which i am uh, using and here you can see i have the two edit text one for the code and one for the phone number and i have the next button all right so now what you are going to do is you are going to we are going to fetch the mobile number uh, we we combine the code with the phone number and we send it to our next activity so here we are doing it we are getting the code and the number and we are sending it to the another activity and that is the is the verify mobile activity all right so we go inside our verify mobile activity and there is the activity xml here we have to enter the code and we have to click on login all right so here i uh, we have used the button knife library which uh, binds our edit text code and there how you do it we have the firebase authentication firebase auth object here and we receive the phone number here and we create a, a function uh, that will send the verification code to our mobile number so we are sending our phone number a string to our this function and there is the function we are using the phone auth options here and we have to provide the firebase auth object to it then we have to set the phone number and we have to set the timeout and then we have to uh, specify this uh, the current activity and we have to use the callback so the main thing here is the is the callback which we are going to use because we need to fetch the we need to have some listener so there we have we are using the uh, on verification state change the callback so here we have uh, these three functions on verification completed on verification failed and on code sent all right and here you you can see phone out provided or verify phone number all right so now how are we doing it so now after this function is performed uh, this uh, this is called so first of all it will be sent here 
on verification completed so after the verification is completed i mean after the user after the sms has been sent to the user so there uh, we have string uh, string code so there we can check if the code is not equal to null it means that the, we uh, the code is automatically fetched and here we set it to our edit text and we just click on verify verify verification code okay so this code is only for the automatic process okay suppose i enter my number and i go into this screen and automatically our application fetches the code and it just log in okay instead of pressing the the verify button but uh, sometimes if we have another phone if we have the sim in the uh, another phone so we have to manually do that okay so here you can see on verification field and we have the toast we are uh, printing the error message and there we already and also have to override a, a function and that is the on code sent so after the on code sent is here we have the m verification id what is this m verification id it is a string so basically this is the code uh, this is the code which is sent into the sms all right and here you can see verify verification code how are we calling it we are calling it here uh, uh, we are calling it let me show you here okay so after we have to verify so there you can see we can see phone out credential and we are using phone out provided dot get credential we have to specify the m verification id and we have to sign in with phone out credit credential and there you can see now we can easily uh, sign in the user and we have to use the add on complete li listener for the ad so if we can check if the task is successful so we can print a message that the verification is done and we can print our next activity and else we can uh, have we can check for the instance of the firebase out invalid credential so it means that we have invalid verification code else we have another problem or there is no network coverage all right so that's it i think it's very easy now for us to use the firebase authentication using the the mobile phone number so guys if and also don't forget to include the user permissions this uh, send sms and internet and as well as we have to use uh, this uh, android x dot browser 1.2.0 it is very uh, very necessary to work otherwise your application will just crash all right so that's how it works so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye